finally we've had some luck. A beautiful herd of elephants coming across here at Treehouse Dam. Oh, this is just very special indeed. Hello guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was all I can say to you for kindly blessing us because we have had a very, very quiet morning and without you to save it, well, who knows what would have happened. Isn't that lovely? That really is very special, a huge herd coming along here. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Rebecca, you say it's like an elephant school. Yes, I suppose it is a little bit like an elephant school. I think it's uh, it's more like an elephant kindergarten. Parents are looking after their youngsters, bringing them down to the water. Here's a little one coming to investigate. This will be a young bull. Ooh, he's very close to us. Alicia, you're wondering how many there are. Well, let's try and count them. I would say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, about 23, and there are more coming. So Alicia, you are welcome, of course, to, um, to count them yourself. In fact, I think that's a good idea. If anybody else would like to count them, please do. Hashtag Spry Live is how you can tell us how many you think there are. There's a whole nother group coming down from the side there. And Hawkeye, you guess that there are 20 elephants. I'd say that's not a bad guess at all. Oh, that's wonderful. How cool is that? I think somebody got into trouble for behaving like an idiot. This young bull was probably chased in by a female, big cow, who said she was not going to put up with that any longer, and she gave him a great big thump and sent him packing. Kirk, you're wondering if elephants in must will travel in the herd or if they're loners. Kirk, they're absolutely loners. They don't travel in the herd at all. Now look, somebody's given the, given the command and they're moving off. It's that big matriarch up at the front, I think. She's decided there's enough going on and it's now time that the herd moved off. Giving us a little head shake. Young bull there. This is just beautiful. I'm so glad we had this. I was getting quite depressed with the uh, proceeds of our morning. Those are the first three we saw. We saw them a little while back. And they were in the bushes and they didn't seem very keen to have us anywhere near them. And then we thought, oh, let's come down to the water, maybe they'll be here. And here they are.
Now the drinking thing that elephants are having to do at the moment is not particularly arduous. There's a lot of water around. It's not that hot. But of course, while this is a wonderful time of year for us and them from a climate point of view, that will change as we go towards the dry season. Now there's a young bull coming past us, the guy who got chased into the water by the matriarch there. Here he comes. Hello. Are you a naughty fellow? <laughs> Just showing us that he's very big and strong, but not so big and strong that he's prepared to walk straight past us. But also a little bit curious because he's so bored of hanging around with the herd, having to talk to all the little ones. So he's going to chat to us and see what we have to offer him. Now, I mean, while he's quite entertaining, sorry, Seb, no, hang on, never mind, stay there. I think the other two are moving off. Now this is a this is really interesting. So there's another herd coming across now from exactly the same direction. Kristen, you want to know why the, this bull has gone off on his own? He's gone off on his own because he was chased off. He was chased off by the the matriarch there. He obviously irritated her in some way, and he's pushed her in. She pushed him into the water. He will absolutely stay in contact with that herd. He can hear them moving, and he'll stay on the sort of fringes of the herd probably for the rest of the day. But what's really interesting is that there's another herd coming down here, and obviously, I don't know. There's one one of a few options here, but. Either that matriarch that we were looking at earlier is the leader of a much bigger group that is kind of split up as they fed during the morning, or all of the elephants or a great number of the elephants in this area are following a specific path for some reason. They're coming through here, perhaps they're heading off to some feeding ground that they know about. But it is interesting that what would seemingly be unrelated herds are following exactly the same path, coming from exactly the same direction towards the waterhole here. That lot's just disappeared there beyond the bushes. Um, Alicia, you say could there be a predator in the water that's dangerous? Alicia, no. I mean, look, it's possible there could be a crocodile here. There's been some... Um, social media video going out of late, it's gone fairly viral, uh, on a crocodile that grabbed the trunk of an elephant, so I forget exactly where it was. That's the only potential threat an elephant could possibly experience in here. There couldn't be any other predator here. Great white sharks tend to avoid uh, water like this, they like cleaner water. So no, it could only be a crocodile. And I don't think there's a crocodile in here, but even a, cro I mean, a crocodile would think twice about taking on an elephant the size of the one that was pushed into the water. There are elephants that are missing bottom parts of their trunks because of crocodiles, though, absolutely. And one is reminded, this is a very small baby with this little herd. One is reminded, of course, of the story of the great grey green greasy Limpopo River by Rudyard Kipling, where the crocodile grabbed the elephant <coughs> and the elephant got so irritated that it picked the crocodile up and swung it around and around and around and around and eventually let it go and it flew all the way into the sun. I don't think that's possible though. I don't think even an elephant is that strong. Now this little herd is skipping the water. It's interesting. But they're definitely on the same sort of path. Now, Chris, you were wondering about the size, the age of the smallest elephant. Um, well, we've seen some some small ones. That smallest one in that herd there looks to me to be about poo, probably six months old or so. In the other herd that we just saw drinking over here, I think the oldest was probably just under a year. At least the youngest was just under a year. So I think those are probably the ages of the elephants that we saw. How very wonderful that was. Alrighty, well I think we should probably carry on then.